Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Jen and this is Miss Photogenic in Style. With me today is Snaps. How are you Snaps? Hi. Good, thank you. Thanks for having me back. That's right. He's back again. So if you guys haven't seen our videos together we did a t-shirt haul and also a shopping day trip in Singapore so in today's video we are going to share with you our top five sneaker casual shoe collection why did you decide to do it why because our shoes are awesome and we wanted to share them with everybody and we thought it would be fun to share this with all of you before we continue, I just want to say thank you to my subscribers and new friends for supporting me and for commenting in my previous videos and also for connecting with me on Instagram. And if you're new to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And also if you like this video, please make sure that you hit the like button and share it with your friends and thank you in advance. So we're going to get started. My first pair of shoes is by Alexander McQueen. These are sort of a creeper type shoe. Uh, it's called a denim D grade. It's a black orange shoe. It's kind of a denim -y fabric. Pretty cool. I must say I haven't really worn them a great deal. So I might wear them a little bit more if I get the chance. Where did mm. you buy that one? Ah uh, yes, these ones we bought from Florence. Italy. Italy yes. is our favourite. We bought a few shoes there when we went there. From the ago. outlet store. Yeah, the mall. Okay, my first pair of shoe is this Dior walk-in shoe, which I showcased in my Dior Oblique collection. So it's an oblique pair. I've used it quite a lot. See, it's a bit dirty. That means that I've enjoyed using it. So that is my Dior walk-in shoe. Next nice one. one. My second pair of shoes is these ones from Prada. These are sort of semi-casual, semi-formal. Uh, it's a it's a brogue style shoe, but it's got a bit of Casual trim there, it's in the blue and the black. Goes very well with jeans, this one. And I like it a lot. I've worn it quite a bit. Nice. My second pair is the Balenciaga Triple S pair of shoes. And I love the color. It's Tiffany green. I'm a size 37, obviously. And if you're planning to buy this pair, I'm sure a lot of you have one already, but if you're planning to buy this pair, just, it is a true to size pair of shoe. I wear it with no socks, so I can tie it really well, and it's, it's nice. So that is my Balenciaga Triple S pair. Don't you find that a bit big? <laughs> a bit big on your foot? Yeah, it's big, but it's cool. A boat. It's one of my favorite pairs actually. I never thought that I was gonna buy this and I'm glad I did. Yours? My next pair of shoes, hmm, they're a bit old school aren't they? I'm digging deep into the collection here. It's a <laughs> Paul Smith. It's a pretty much a basic sneaker. It's got some nice colours on it. It's got a little bit of reflective trim. It's quite a comfortable shoe. Yeah, also very good with jeans, but sometimes I wear it just without socks with uh, shorts. And comes the second pair of laces. So you can just like completely change the look of these shoes just with white laces. 
Okay, my third pair of shoes is this Rococo Fendi sock shoes, which I bought in 2018 in net a I think. What I love about this shoe is the Fendi logo. It's a classic brown and black color. And also, I've used this quite a lot in winter and autumn weather. So yeah, it remains one of my favorite um, cold weather shoes. So. And you have a matching top? Yes. Matching shoes, yes. matching top. Very cool. But not quite as cool as this one. Xenia. The big Z. I'm not sure how you describe this. It's almost like a hiking shoe. It's a it's a pretty solid kind of shoe. It's uh, very good for winter. So suffice to say, I haven't really worn it a great deal here in Singapore. All right, my fourth pair of shoe is a pair that I bought just recently, but I have not worn it at all. So the next pair is this Prada shoes, and this is called the XY Knit sneakers. What I love about this is the white color and the Prada logo and print. So I also have this in black and white because it's really comfortable but I don't have it with me. I think I left it in Australia. So I bought another pair and at some point I will wear this. But isn't that beautiful? What do you think? Is this something that you would wear? I probably wouldn't wear them because <laughs> mm, I have my own Prada sneakers here. Yeah. Is it called? Like that. Yes. Cloud Bust. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's a nice colour. I like it. It's got a bit of chunky sole. Because I'm not the best at tying laces. Okay. Sorry, I'm giggling. I like the color, I like the design, the sole is really good. They're pretty solid sort of shoe, you can wear them all day. Have you worn them already? Uh, I've worn them a bit, but not, not a great deal, obviously. They're still in pretty good nick. Okay, my last pair is a special pair. I should call it the holy grail of my sneaker or casual shoe collection. And this pair is, ta-da, it's a Christian Louboutin pair of shoe. Still and I'm going to, I haven't worn it. Mint. And say hello to my, it's called Spike, Spike Sock Donna Shoes. And can you please hold one? Yes, my pleasure. I think you can see the texture of the shoe here. Yes. And um, I've taken out the insert. So that is how pretty it is. I've got the spikes. I've got the red sole all over. And that marks my last pair. brings us to the end of our top five designer sneaker casual collection. We hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you again Snaps for joining me today. Yes, thank you for having me. Do you have any last words to my subscribers and friends? Uh, all I can really say is that you have a lot more shoes than I do. <laughs> I had to dig deep into my collection to find five, whereas you just like top drawer, there they were. That's normal. Mm. But thank you everybody for your time today. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions about those items, please make sure that you write your comments below. Let us know what you think. Is this something that you would like to see again? To my new subscribers, thank you for your support. As always, if you're new to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe and hit that like button as well if you enjoyed this video.
Please take care and see you next time. Bye!